based on Guam EPA's investigations, this is a massive illegal dump site, and something needs to be done to complete it and, you know, clean it up and fix it in the long run. And the size of this case shows that, you know, if action's not taken quickly, how out of hand it can become. Guam EPA spokesperson Tammy Jo Anderson Taft says there is hard evidence to prove Jigo resident Joseph Titano has been operating an illegal dump site on his property. But according to Titano's attorney, Curtis Vandeveld, the Guam EPA board continues to make technical errors, which are further delaying any settlement. Prior to today's hearing with Superior Court Judge Elizabeth Barrett Anderson, both parties agreed to rescind the board's actions from December's special hearing because the board failed to give the defendant 10 days notice. It was back in December the Guam EPA board voted to deny Titano's motion to dismiss the case as well as agreed to a proposed corrective action plan. That plan ordered Titano to install two groundwater monitoring wells, sample the wells semi-annually, install chain-link fencing around the perimeter of the quarry, and submit an adjusted penalty of $312,000 within 60 calendar days. The court has accepted the settlement. Now there will be a submission of an order, and that will bring the matter uh, as pens before the court to a conclusion and return the matter to the status that it had prior to December of 2011. Illegal dump operator Joseph Titano. Praise the Lord, it's over. Praise the Lord, it's over. Thank you, Lord. And, so, and thank my best attorney, the one and only attorney in the island, can buy anybody, EPA or anybody. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Titano continues free of penalties until the Guam EPA board can schedule another special hearing and the case can start from square one. Now, that's not to say that the case is over because it's far from over. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, the case will come back before the board of directors and uh, it will be heard again as it was in December. And it, you know, when it comes before the board of directors, all the T's will be crossed and the I's will be dotted. And we'll make sure that all the facts are present and see what the board decides.